Yeah, we're going to be talking in the coming weeks a lot more about coaching, a lot more uh, about hitting and coaching topics here as we wrap up our series that we call it the championship season <laughs> episode nine. This is part five, talking about the aftermath. Great videos, great stuff. Be sure to follow Cassie and myself on Instagram, Twitter. I'm at Jim Tara on both Cassie on Instagram at coach underscore Cassie RB at coach Cassie RB on Twitter. Uh, the first one is Instagram. At coach <laughs> underscore Cassie RB on Got Instagram. That down. <laughs> let's let's get into today's episode again. Episode nine, talking about uh, the post championship celebration. I just want to know um, when you guys returned to that trailer. What, what what and and just back to your hotel. What what went on? What was the post championship celebration like? Um, yeah. Did you guys keep going? What was what was that like for you, for your team? Yeah, I you know what we 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 won it so late, right? We. By the time, I think it was past midnight by the time the game actually finished after the rain blaze and everything else. Um, and it's those are one of those things where I remember moments from my first person point of view. And it is it seems so sporadic. I remember just like big moments. I don't remember the order or how they happened because there's so much emotion, emotion surrounding it. Mm -hmm. um, and I've seen so many pictures and videos of that chip, right? You know, after it happened, I wanted to go back and watch all these pictures and videos. And I actually started to hesitate doing that because my memory of that moment became the pictures and videos I was watching afterwards, not actually what I was experiencing in the first person. But I remember, you know, just like little things like hugging my parents for the first time, leaving uh, this all, all six seniors, leaving our cleats at Hall of Fame Stadium to signify that we were done playing and um, getting able, being able to just hold the trophy and be like, holy cow, this is, this is actually really heavy. Um, but um, that was, you know, afterwards we get, we get, I remember we get on the bus. I, I, I don't remember where we might not have even stopped back into that locker room. I think we grabbed our bags and changed our shoes into our turfs and then went right on the bus. And the support staff had gotten balloons and streamers and, you know, whatever else. And it, it again, I, it, I was, I, I remember thinking a couple moments, how different the other team's bus would have been at that time, how opposite emotions were happening within like a parking lot of each other. But um, just, you know, Every now and then that moment of sadness hits you where you're like, you just played your last game. And then you look up and you're like, but we're celebrating now. And, and you, you know, <laughs> you, continue, you, you push past any sad moment. Right. Um, yeah. So yeah, just, just a lot of laughs, a lot of fun moments, a lot of, you know, seeing family, seeing, seeing other teammates, getting texts and phone calls from people who were just following along the entire time. Oh, it was all definitely a whirl, whirlwind, but very, very cool. <laughs> yeah. Mind you, this was before the explosion of social media and the explosion of mm -hmm. Instagram. So uh, maybe you had like the first iPhone. So you were we, getting yeah, texts, right? Twitter, I mean, we had, yeah. we had Twitter, we had Twitter on yeah. everyone by my, by my senior year had a smartphone. That was like the first year everyone on our team had the smartphone. 2012. And, yeah. Yeah. Around that time. So mm -hmm. yeah, you, you're right. And cause I think now like it would have been Instagram live. Oh and, yeah. You know, TikTok live and whatever you else. You see that with professional athletes now. Yes. <laughs> and um, not that anybody on our team did anything uh, inappropriate or stupid or anything like that, but that would have, I think, made me a little bit worried because you're, you're not just representing like just a softball team in Oklahoma, like the university of Alabama, there's so much pride with class and there's so much pride with like the history of this, this university that I would I would hate to ever be responsible for any tainting of that that crimson A. Wait.